that West Ham were expecting Manchester City to enter the race for Declan Rice, but also, to add something on this point, that they called during the weekend to be informed on movements, like, okay, Arsenal closed the deal, is that still open? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market, and today, guys, we have many things to discuss. Many things are happening around Declan Rice, of course, I want to clarify something on Moises Caicedo, and not only, because we have to say about Mason Mount, something about Tottenham, and also something about Timothy Weah, but I also wanted to discuss one more exit for Chelsea. Let's jump into it together. <music> And guys, let me start with Declan Rice, the big saga of the moment in England. And not only this is a fantastic, uh, fantastic transfer, but we have to see where Declan Rice is going. Let me remind you one thing. Uh, I told you, it was last week on Friday, that West Ham were expecting Manchester City to enter the race for Declan Rice, but also, uh, to add something on this point, that they called during the weekend to be informed on movements, like, okay, Arsenal closed the deal, is that still open? So Man City have always been informed about uh, Declan Rice. And then they uh, decided to enter the race on Thursday. They decided to enter the race in terms of contact on player side and on club side with West Ham. While I'm speaking, Thursday night, still waiting for an official bid. So in terms of direct contacts, they entered the race, but not in terms of official bids yet. So this is just formal talk, but let's see and let's wait for that bid as Man City uh, told West Ham that they will bid and told player side that they will bid. So this is the intention. There is a crucial part of the story to mention. There is the player. At the moment, the player, Declan Rice, has been very clear from what I understand. He wants to be open and to see what Arsenal and Manchester City will do in the next hours and days. We know one crucial point on this story, Mikel Arteta. Arteta is pushing at the best level to sign Declan Rice. Arteta is trying in every single way. Of course, it doesn't depend on him. Uh, it depends on the owners, on how much they want to spend on the deal. But Mikel Arteta is trying his best. He's really pushing. Uh, for uh, Declan Rice to join Arsenal. So Arteta could be crucial. If Declan Rice would be an Arsenal player, trust me, Arteta would have be a crucial factor. But Manchester City are into it. Manchester City are in the race. Let's wait and see what happens in terms of beat. But at the moment, in terms of contact, the situation is like this. With Man City and with Arsenal. Because we have to remember that Arsenal's intention is to be the gain for Declan Rice. They had a second bid rejected uh, for 75 plus 15 million pounds for uh, Declan Rice, but they remain in the race and they want to bid again. So both clubs are still there. Nothing is decided yet. It's true that City are into it, but it's also true that Arsenal, until the end, is into this story. So let's wait for the bids. Let's see what happens. The feeling at West Ham during the night is that we are really close to the end of this story. So. Let's see what's going to happen in the next hours around Declan Rice. Let's see also what's going to happen around Moises Caicedo because Chelsea, as I told you guys many and many other times, Chelsea are really close to complete the agreement on the personal terms. This is 95% done. It's just about, guys, really the final details. But Caicedo say yes to Chelsea. So he's prepared to accept Chelsea. The personal terms are almost done. But still waiting for Chelsea to beat uh, to Brighton. Why? Because Chelsea are very busy with this Saudi deal. Uh, guys, this is not a normal deal. They are selling three player. This is new kind of communication with Saudi. This is a new market. This is a very big deal and really important deal for Chelsea. And so this is why they are very busy with all the contrast to check everything, to make sure everything goes well for Koulibaly, for Ziyech, for Edouard Mendy, maybe other players. They discuss it at, at Sonodoy, still waiting to understand if Obama Young will be included into this or not. So this is a crucial deal for Chelsea. This is why they're busy with that one. Then with Kai Havertz, done deal to Arsenal, uh, Kovacic, done deal to Manchester City, and Mason Mount, because the conversation between May United and Chelsea for Mason Mount continue. May United will bid again, as I told you. Mason Mount has an agreement with May United, wants to go to May United, but timing will be crucial. Sources believe that this deal has to be completed by the end of next week. So this is why for Chelsea, this is another crucial point. Then Chelsea will start the negotiation with Brighton and are prepared to bid for Moises Caicedo. So Chelsea, at the moment, while I'm speaking, remain in control of Caicedo's situation, in advanced talks, more than advanced, with the player and prepared to, to bid with Brighton. So this is the situation. Chelsea feel they are in control. But of course, we know very well in the transfer market, you have to close the deals. 
So this is the point around Caicedo and Declan Rice. About Chelsea, one more outgoing. I'm told that Cesar Spiliqueta has been very honest with Chelsea. He wants to try a new experience. So it's true that Inter have an interest in uh, Cesar Spiliqueta, are approaching Spiliqueta because they want to give him a chance in Italy. And Spiliqueta wants to try a new opportunity, from what I understand. He loves Chelsea. He's super respectful with Chelsea. Chelsea has always been super respectful with Spiliqueta. One year ago, they tried their best to keep Spiliqueta and avoid his transfer to Barcelona. But now, for Aspi, despite being out of contract in summer 2024, the priority is to go, to leave, to try a new experience. So let's see how this conversation will go. But Spiliqueta and Inter is something concrete could be one more outgoing for Chelsea super busy with the outgoings and this could be one more for the Blues so this is the situation around Aspilicueta. Then, staying in London, Tottenham signed Guglielmo Vicario from Empoli. He will do the medicals in the next days. 19 million euros, five-year contract to the player, medical tests already scheduled, and so Vicario, new goalkeeper for Tottenham. Done deal, and here we go. As we say today, Juventus are closing on a deal to sign Timothy Wea from Lille. This is an interesting one. Uh, around 12 million euros with Sam Edons, so the negotiation is at the final stages for Timothy Wea to Juventus. But also, guys, Manchester United fans, I told you about Mason Mount, but it was an important Thursday in terms of contact also for the new goalkeeper. Because let me clarify that the David De Gea situation is not decided or clarified yet, but it's very clear that day by day the situation looks more complicated. And this is why other goalkeepers are in the list at Manchester United. And Man United, in their headquarters, had meeting with the agent of Andre Onana. Albert Botines is the agent of the player. He had a direct conversation with Manchester United for Onana. Eric Tanak is a big fan, so Manchester United believed that the player would like to try an experience in the Premier League, but they also know that the negotiation with Inter is not going to be easy. It's at least 50 million euros plus a don'ts, but they want around 60 million euros for Andre Onana. So let's see if now Manchester United will decide to bid for Onana. They have to, first of all, decide on David De Gea, uh, final the season, and then to decide on your goalkeeper. They are following Diogo Costa for sure, but Onana is a goalkeeper in the list at Man United, and they had conversations on player side. But they know that the most difficult part is on club side with Inter. So let's see how the conversation will be, but for sure Onana is one to watch. For my United. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories, Caicedo, Declan Rice, of course, Andre Onana, Spiliqueta, Vicario, Timothy Wea, Sandro Tonali to Newcastle, this is an imminent, here we go, let me know your thoughts guys, here in the comments, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, see you soon, with Fabrizio, ciao!